All right, let's look at another example of solving for KSP. So here's a problem that says an experimenter finds the solubility of barium fluoride to be 1.1 grams in 1.00 liters of water at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the value of KSP at this temperature? So whenever we're solving for KSP, it's gonna be at a certain temperature. We'll always be solving for KSP at 25 degrees Celsius. That's the standard um, temperature when you're looking up these values in a reference table. Um, they always would give the temperature for these values because we know temperature affects solubility. Increasing the temperature increases the solubility. Um, so it always is important that you're told the temperature. We'll always be using 25 degrees Celsius, but that's why you're gonna see temperatures in these problems. Okay, first thing that's important is we need to write <clears throat> the equilibria, the solubility equilibria. So first we have to write barium fluoride. Remember that barium is plus two and fluoride is minus one. So barium fluoride is BAF2 and it's a solid. So it is in equilibrium with barium two plus aqueous plus two fluoride ions. Don't forget the stoichiometry, stoichiometry here. For every one mole of barium fluoride that breaks apart, it's gonna produce one mole of barium two plus ions and two moles of fluoride ions. So if we write the solubility product constant expression It's going to be KSP equals barium 2 plus times fluoride squared. Because remember, coefficients become exponents when you write the KSP. It's the concentration of the products over the concentration of the reactants. Solids are excluded. Coefficients become exponents. This is important. We haven't seen a lot of this, a lot of the work that we've been doing with acids and bases in the last few, um, over the, in the last chapter or so, have all been one-to-one -one ratios. So we're not in the habit of doing this. So do not forget to do this, that coefficients become exponents in equilibria. So now let's look at the equilibrium table. So I'm gonna write out my reaction, initial change equilibrium. So I have barium fluoride solid in equilibrium with barium two plus aqueous plus two fluoride minus aqueous. So again, nothing is in this row because solids are excluded. And we start out with none of these ions, plus X, plus X. Now what's this gonna be? plus 2x. Remember, the change has to do with the stoichiometry. So 2 plus, not a plus, just, just x and 2x. So now, when we write the equilibrium expression, we have to take this into account. So what x is, x is the molar solubility. it's the amount that broke apart. 
So we're not given the molar solubility. We are given just the regular solubility, 1.1 grams in 1.0 liters. So we need to convert that. 1.1 grams in 1.00 liters. And when you use the periodic table and look up the molar mass of barium and the molar mass of fluorine, you see that the molar mass of barium fluoride is 175.32 grams in one mole. Grams will cancel. And now you have a molarity, moles per liter, of 6.27 times 10 to the negative third molar. This is X. Because this is the molar solubility amount, that's the amount of this salt that breaks apart. However much of this salt that breaks apart is gonna be the amount X of this barium ion that you have, and twice that number is the amount of fluoride ions that you would have. So if you're solving for KSP, KSP is It's essentially x times 2x squared but you could also write 6.27 times 10 to the negative 3 times 2 2x 2 times 6.27 times 10 to the negative 3 squared, that's going to give you your KSP. Either of these are the same. I just wrote it out here so you can see me plugging in X both places. Do not forget that this 2 is going to come into play two places because the coefficient becomes an exponent, but then the coefficient is also the amount that the change is in your equilibrium table. So it's 2X squared. So really it's 2X cubed, 2X times X squared. So when you do this, <clears throat> you get um, 9.8 times 10 to the negative seventh. And that is the KSP for the barium fluoride.